Hey guys, I'm back. Oh goody. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? You could try guessing a number. Whoever answers right gets to bury it. That sounds reasonable. I'll start. Pick what number I'm thinking of. Mmm, 27. Nope. Okay, now you pick a number. 42. Wrong. Wait a minute. How do I know you ain't lying? Me? What about you? Okay, this ain't gonna work. Forget it. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? I think that staring contest was working. You should try again. Yeah, good idea. Look behind you! It's a Dark Ninja Dave action figure! Really? I've never actually seen one in person. Bon voyage. Did you say something? Not me. Maybe it was Captain McGillicuddy. Neptune's beard! If he sees we haven't buried this chest yet, he might just bury us instead! Come on, come on, we've got to go now! Yeah, that might be a good idea. Mark, it's me, Garbage Freakwood, Whitey Pirate. Well, that's that. Done <coughs> and buried. <coughs> it's a pile of fallen trees. It's a pile of fallen trees. More Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? to set sail, Mr. Winslow. I love you. I, uh, think we should discuss that sort of thing after we've reached our destination. <laughs> what? Oh, I love you. Sounds like I love you. <laughs> Pretty good joke. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, joke. Wow. I didn't think tiny islands like this actually existed. Good thing I'm not stuck here. 
I haven't finished my top five things to have while stranded on a deserted island list. It's a palm tree. Gruesome. I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. I like this place. It's relaxing. It's a pretty big rock for such a tiny little island. Maybe this is the tip of a giant underwater pyramid from a highly advanced ancient civilization. Or maybe it's just a rock. back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Actually, the Rock of Gelato has been pretty unlucky for me. First the whole LeChuck and ship exploding thing, then Morgan cut off my hand when I went back. Mr. Winslow, let's avoid the Rock of Gelato from now on. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. It's me, Garbor Freakwood, Whitey Pirate. If I were a buried parrot, where would I be? As funny as it would be, I'd hate for someone to trip on this coconut and get hurt. I should probably get rid of it. You know, on second thought, maybe I'll just leave it there. Even as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Ooh, bendy. I never get sick of rubber trees. Arrgh, it's me, Garbor Freakwood, Whitey Pirate. Aha, there you are, little parrot. I'll have you dug up in a second. Arrgh, it's me, Garbor Freakwood, Whitey Pirate. Creepy. It sounds like I've been buried alive. Again. And I think once is enough for a lifetime. Take that, Poxy Pirates! Never underestimate the treasure-finding skills of Guybrush Street. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. Oh, shut up already. My petite maîtresse, where is the puny pirate and his superbly sickly hat? Right here. Oh, and what a glorious battle it was. Guybrush was amazing. You should have seen the way he... What? No, 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 no. This will not do. I need all of Monsieur Sripwood. That was not our agreement. I think you'd better give me my gold now. Oui, oui, of course. Ah, but I have discovered that Sweepwood himself is very special. I need his body for my experiments. I'll pay you double to bring him back to me alive. Make it triple. I'll make it quadruple. Once I have extracted his essence and perfected my elixir, the world will offer me all of the treasures in exchange. Now go, mademoiselle. Go like the winds of Flotsam and bring me my perfectly profitable pirate prize. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Go 
Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. like those two pirates finally got picked up. I'll miss those guys. Maybe I can send them a fruit basket for the holidays. Fishing well. Fishing well? They probably meant wishing well. I'm sure it's just a typo. Free bait. Good for one order of fish eggs. Coupon valid at most participating Jerkbait Island locations. Neat! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Elaine and I were so worried. Forget it, LeChuck. You may have somehow fooled my wife with your voodoo trickery, but not me. But it's true. Thanks to you, I'm a new man. Completely voodoo free. And I have good news, Guybrush. I have found one of the Mer people summoning artifacts. I just need little help actually getting it. What's your game, LeChuck? Lure me into a false sense of security with kind words and sandwiches and then murder me in my sleep? My boy, if I wanted to murder you, I'd just throw you off this cliff. Why wait for you to sleep? How reassuring. I completely trust you now. Great! We'll put the past in the past and agree to work together for a change. Free bait. Large oysters. Tasty. For the fish, I mean. I try not to eat bait anymore. So what exactly are you trying to do here? I have surmised that the summoning artifact is somehow locked away within that structure. There has got to be a way to activate it so that we can actually retrieve it. No problem. All we need is another- No, no. No, don't tell me. I need to learn how to do this on my own. If I am going to prove to you that I am on your side, I need to be able to face challenges the same way you do, instead of threatening to cut off your head when I don't get my way. Fine, I'll let you try to figure out how to unlock the artifact, but I will be the one to actually take it. Fantastic! So, like I said, don't tell me how to do this. I'm sure I can figure this out on my own. If you did anything to hurt Elaine while I was gone, I swear I'll... The only thing I did to Elaine was to pull her from the freezing water along with a bunch of wet screaming monkeys. Actually, that kind of sounds like our honeymoon. So, you say you're human now, huh? Well, let's just see what happens when I pull off your mask! Ouch! Guybrush, stop that! Huh. Okay. Maybe you are human. I still don't like you. Be that as it may. We still must work together to retrieve this summoning artifact. So, how much longer do you think? Oh, I'm so close. I can feel it. 
Seems not so good with this whole puzzle-solving thing. It was so much easier to just kill people until someone did things for you. Maybe you could just give me a hint. Okay, well, try this. Maybe you should just let me have whatever you're carrying and let me do this. No, Guybrush, I insist. I must learn to do these things for myself. What are you carrying with you? Hmm, well, let's see. I have some breath mints and this thing. It looks just like the thing you used in that clamshell, but mine seems to be broken. Oh, ah! I think I've got it now! Oh, wait, no. That won't work. Hmm. Use. Uh huh. Claw thingy. Right. Clamshell lock. Well, I don't think that's going to do anything until I fix it. Yeah, you're probably right. Brush, please stop. I'm trying to figure this thing out. But all you have to do is... No, 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 no. I can figure it out on my own. Suit yourself. I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Looks like it opens somehow. I wonder if there's anything inside. No dice. There must be some trick to opening it. I can do this all day, but until the Chuck gets another key for the other clamshell lock, this is useless. Numbly? Hello again, sailor. Please stop saying that. What'll it be? I'd like some bait, please. Sure. You got your coupon? Yes, I do. Great, hand it over. I'd like some bait, please. Fish eggs. Sure, here you go. Thanks. No problem. I just made them myself. You did what? <laughs> Relax. I'm just yanking your tail. You're adorable when you squirm. I'd like some oysters, please. Oh, you're lucky. We only have one left. And it's a doozy. You know, some people refer to the oyster as the love muscle. Really? Maybe that's just to boost its self-esteem. 
This thing's as ugly as a pile of seagull droppings. This sucker open here. Hey, look, a pearl! A big pearl! Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. We agree to disagree? Look at those legs! Am I going to find a duck wearing burlap chaps? Here, you might need this. Of course! This thing. Yes. Figure it out yet? Not yet. But I think I'm really close. You look like you're still struggling. You need some more help? Maybe just a little? Okay, well, try this. Use? Yes. Claw thingy? No, no. I got it. Hmm. Use with... The pearl. Ha-ha! <laughs> it fits perfectly! Yep. You now have yourself a fully functional murkey. See? That wasn't too hard, was it? No, not at all. So now what? Ah, oh, brother. Okay, well, try this. Use? Hmm. Use what? Merfolk key? Yes. Clamshell lock. It's working, Guybrush! Of course! Now, I'll just use my key over- Wait! I think I figured it out! Now that I've got my key in place, you can go use yours in the other clamshell! Yeah, smart thinking. Oh, would you look at that? I knew the summoning artifact would be here. Let's go get it! Whoa, hey, I will be the one to get it, remember? That was our deal. You, wait here. Yes, of course. I've got your back. That's exactly what I'm afraid of, but thank you. So this is what all the fuss is about. I'm not getting it out of there that way. Good luck, LeChuck. I'm out of here. Well, don't go too far. I may need your help. More clamshell locks. I remember these things from Flotsam Island. Looks like it's locked up now. Hmm, 
looks like someone else tried to pry the artifact out of here with no luck. Come on! Need some help? Nope, I got it. It's just really stuck. <laughs> Why don't you just let me do it? I'm not saying I'm stronger than you, but... Here. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna let you try to get the summoning artifact out of the stone. But only because you're a lot stronger than me. But you'd better give the artifact right back or I swear... Relax, Threepwood. I promise. All you need to know is where to apply pressure. Amazing! We've done it, Guybrush! Yep, sure did. Now if I can just... Just look at it. Pure gold. A treasure fit for any respectable pirate hold. Okay, come on, just let me have... And surrounded with the secret power to summon ancient mysterious beasts of the sea. Now listen here, you fleshy sack of chum! You better be handing over that golden sea turtle, or I'll be handing you your liver on the pointy enemy hook! Ah, uh, you are infected with the pox after all. I'm so sorry, Guybrush. Somehow I feel this is all my fault. Not to worry, boy. We'll get these artifacts, find La Esponja Grande, and have you cured in no time. Whoa! Brush? Hmm, that big guy has the artifact. If I run up and take it from him, McGillicutty would probably make me first in command. Heck, he might even let me eat this week. Then again, he is pretty big. I better gather some men. Oh, ow. Oh, LeChuck! I was right! I knew I couldn't trust him! Oh no, the summoning artifact! The altar's got a couple of cracks now, but it survived the fall pretty well. Guybrush! Are you okay? Fine, you backstabbing backslapper! Give me that sea turtle! Of course, Guybrush. I understand that you want to take the credit. It's important to look good in front of your wife. It's not that, it's just... Now, if you'll be so good as to excuse me, I need to get back to the task of returning the monkeys I once kidnapped back into the wild. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the number of monkeys it takes to complete an evil voodoo curse. <laughs> what was I thinking? Just throwing bait into the water is a good way to feed the fish, but not particularly effective in catching them. I think it's a Vacalian barbecue. Grilled parrot. Too bad this thing isn't hot. More Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace. Or maybe a barbecue? Artifacts are sacred. 
I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless! How about a compromise? La Spongia Gra- Hello again! Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? Hey, guess what? I got hey, one hey, of- Hey, Kaibash! If that is what I think it is, keep it to yourself for now. We don't want to let Nigelakati know you found one. He's likely to kill you for it where you stand. What if I'm sitting down? Great idea. That way your brain will be protected. Ooh, good one. Where am I supposed to find these summoning artifacts again? Go to Spoon Eye. The Chuck is there in the jungle somewhere. He can help you find one. And I hear rumors that there may be some clues to finding another in an abandoned shack on Roe Island. And don't forget, McGillicuddy's men have stolen one. You'll have to find them and get that one as well. I guess that's all I have to say. You all still have a lot to work out, so I'll just see myself out. Give me the summoning artifacts! You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless! How about a compromise? Alas, Unja Grande will not be given to his fire. Kava's journals, poems I wrote while searching for Esponja Grande. Wow, 36 volumes. Looks like he was searching for a long time. The Path of the Mouth. Okay. Nice cans. Man, look at all these empty grog bottles. I'm sure he was just collecting these for recycling. It's stuff. Sailor? Hello, Tetra. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? Actually, I... What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vecalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. 
but it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get them, swashbuckler. Uh-uh. That's not a good way to use fish bait. It's a mess in there. I'll clean it later. Mr. Winslow? Yes, Captain? How's the mast holding up? She is looking fantastic, Captain. The repairs are holding well. Embrace her, Captain. Let the screaming narwhal know how much you care. I'm not hugging the mast. Ah, in time, you will come to love her as your second wife. Uh, I don't think Elaine is into that. You'll never know unless you ask. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Well, I met some merfolk. And did you find the lovely mermaid lass you were looking for? I'm not sure. I can't tell the men from the women. <laughs> well, just don't go kissing them all. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir. Prepare to set sail. Set sail for Boulder Beach. Yes, sir, Captain. Hmm, nice plot of land. I wonder if Elaine would let me build a summer home here. Well, I'm done here. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. One of nature's bludgeons. Nice rock. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Hi, a lemonade. Hello, sailor.
I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. There is something written here, but it's too tiny to make it out. This fishy looking guy still has one glass eye. Shoot, why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? Forget about the artifacts for a moment. Please, let's be reasonable. Our people will not be Ooh, Now it's like a big red magnifying glass. Just tell me where they are. I will not reveal the location of the artifacts. They're both being unreasonable. Ah, looks like Dekaba wrote down the name of a book. 101 fish jokes. Okay. I wonder if it's a biography. Let's start again. Artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Hello, sailor. Hello, Tetra. I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? 101 fish jokes. 101 fish jokes? Really? My ancestors have worked for centuries to gather these treasures of knowledge and preserve them within these walls so that our race will long be respected for our intellectual achievements. And you want fish jokes? Yep. <sighs> Fine. Here, this ought to enrich your understanding of Vicalian literature. Great. Hope it doesn't keep me in stitches or I might need a sturgeon. I hate you now. Looks like Dekava wrote down the name of a book. 101 Fish Jokes. I wonder if it's a biography. Hello again. Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? I guess that's all I have to say. You all still have a lot to work out, so I'll just see myself out. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? La Spinja Grande will not be given to these vile hands. Looking for a ride? I don't think so. Nah. Nope. Mm, no. Wow. 
101 fish jokes. Hey, there's a coupon in here. I wonder if it's still good. Free bait. Gusanos de Destino. Good while supplies last. my ship so fast. I'm telling you, mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mouse. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. These trees on Spoon Isle, can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. I'd like some bait, please. Sure. You got your coupon? Yes, I do. Great, hand it over. Uh, here you go, Emily. I've got a coupon here for something called Gusanos de Destino. Wow, that's an old coupon. I'm not even sure I still carry this stuff. Wait here. I need to check in the back. Found some. It was all the way in the back behind the monkey fingers. It's even still glowing. Ew. They look like fat, glowing worms. Ooh, good one. are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? La Spunja Grande will not be given to these vile pirates. Both of you, shut! Want some? Yes. Thank you. Ah. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hand. Want some? Yes. Thank you. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have... Hello again. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Uh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of ritual words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. You all still have a lot to work out, so I'll just see myself out. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless.
little fishy. Hey, I think I feel a nibble. Come a little closer. Gotcha! Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, hold still! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Brush Streepwood, obtainer of cranky golden fish artifacts. Whew. Whoa, I got a bite. Whoa, it's a big one. Shoot. Ships in and creating a blockade around the island. He's gonna tear this place apart if he doesn't get those summoning artifacts. I'm headed for higher ground. I'll be at the shop if you need me. Sir, I'll take the screaming narwhal out to sea before the blockade has a chance to move in, so she's not caught in the crossfire. Okay, I'll find a way to get out to you as soon as I find. Ah! Help! Elaine! Winslow, wait! I have to get a lane. I'll be right back. No time, sir. You'll have to find a way to slip past the blockade. I'll be waiting to pick you up. Is someone there? I need some help. Oh, sea bunny, what happened? McGillicuddy, he caught me off guard, knocked me out and kidnapped Chieftain Beluga. I was working out a plan to rescue him, but then I got blindsided by a falling chunk of Mer statue and now I'm stuck. I got ya. All right, let's sneak out to my ship and sail out of here. Right, your ship. That's perfect. I needed one more ship for my plan. Oh. And we're not leaving yet. But... Okay. Listen carefully. There's always a weak point on the blockade. We're going to use a classic two-point distract and skewer to take advantage of it. Double-jointed traction skewer. Got it. I'm going to get my ship out of hiding and provide a distraction on the east side. Your job is to get to the Spoon Isle Beach and distract them on the west. How do I do that? There's a cannon on the beach. Constant attacks from that should keep them occupied so someone else can slip through unnoticed. Who else is there? I also need you to tell the Chuck about his part. He needs to sneak through the weak point in the blockade once you and I have been distracted, then take your ship, sail out to McGillicuddy's flagship, sink it, and rescue Beluga. Actually, I think I should be the one to sail out there and do the valiant sinking and rescuing of the Merkin. Uh, Queen, whatever. Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. But the Pots has taken McGillicuddy over completely now. There's no reasoning with him anymore. But it's my ship. I said, quit your whispering and grow some barnacles for Blackbeard's sake. I'm making the plans here, fancy pants. Yikes. Um, don't look now, but I think you might be slightly infected with the pox. Unless you want to find yourself with a match instead of hook hands, I suggest you do as I say. Yes, dear. Ooh. I've got to run, love. Go and find the chuck and tell him the plan. Hey, LeChuck, Helene says you should see how many cannonballs you can fit in your stupid... I can hear you! Yes, dear. Prepare 
up his bucket? Well, I like you. So, yeah, go ahead. What are you going to use it for? I don't know. So, why do you want to take it? Um, because it's there, I guess? You're a weird, kid. <laughs> Cute, but weird. Now they won't singe everything in my pockets. Take that, weak point of the blockade! Oh no! Someone's shooting at me! It's coming from the beach! Come on, give us the golden sea turtle. We saw you pry it out of that altar. You'll have to pry it from my no longer cold dead hand. The Chuck? Guybrush, get out of here. These guys think I still have the artifact, and they are willing to kill to get it back. Okay, but Elaine wants me to tell you something. It'll have to wait, Guybrush. I don't think these guys are gonna let me leave without giving them the artifact first. Well, they're in there, but they really aren't hot enough to do anything. That won't do anything. It's not even on.
I'll just turn the heat up a little. Uh oh. If nobody saw it, it didn't happen. Hey, perfect fit! And they said that heating and air conditioning certificate I earned at Pirate Night School would never come in handy. Whoa! Now that's a barbecue! Sorry, little guy. Good thing you're not actually alive. What? It's me, Guybrush Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's unsettling. Ooh, melty. Ouch! Hot! Over the edge you go. Bullseye. One counterfeit sea turtle artifact, made from fool's gold. Hey, not bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye anyway. Hey, look! Over here! A completely real Golden Sea Turtle artifact! That's impossible! I saw this guy take the artifact! We ain't going nowhere till he hands it over, or we take it from him! Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. Hey guys, look! He's got the summoning artifact right here! He's right! Grab it, men! Arr, let me at him! You will never, ever hit! Give it here! Give it here! I got him! Ouch! Hold him down! I'll take you all off! <laughs> I got it! 
Ooh, that looks painful. Your! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? Ah, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact they took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. In fact, I'm uh, kind of famous for it. <laughs> I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade while I sail out and rescue the Merleader. Really? Are you sure that's what she said? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Ha! I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Good luck, lad! Jerk. Not getting out of here this way. The blockade is too tight. Hmm, looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. <laughs> See if you can handle this, boys. They're shooting at me. Why are they shooting at me? Aha! This must be the weak point in the blockade! Now all I need to do is quietly sail through and... Ah! Well, well, if it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat what smells like bacon! <coughs> huh? Hey! Who's shooting at me? <coughs> Hoist your colors, you mangy sea dogs! Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me! You're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female. Right, sail we ship right over you. Haha! <laughs> so long, suckers. It was nice chatting with you again, but I've got a merleader to save. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy over here. Shooting blindly at a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you sniveling spud scraper. <laughs> Good to see you again, Captain Threepwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow, but there's no time for stories now. We gotta take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! Straight on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. Tell me the ritual summoning words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue! I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures. You will not have a Sponja Grande. Fine. Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea! <laughs> It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me what I know, you oversized anchovy. I don't need to know stuff. I've got the box. Lower the Merleader. I ain't happy. Lowering the Merleader. Captain McGillicuddy, prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. 
I don't think so, boy. The chieftain is gonna tell me exactly where to find the artifact so I can get to a Splunger Grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me, a merperson. You must keep the summoning artifact safe, Zybrush. Zybrush? Zybrush! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact. Uh, it's me, Zybrush Freeboy, Mighty Pyro. Uh-oh. You'll rue the day you cross paths with me, boy. Rue? Ha! <laughs> Really gotta look up that way. Skybrush, sink his ship! I'll deal with you later, Stickwood. I think old Finface here wants another dip in a drink. <laughs> here we go again. Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep. Prepare to meet your maker, McGillicuddy. Wow, nice shot. If I ever find the crewmen who let you through the blockade, I'm gonna maroon them on one of those deserted islands in the middle of the ocean. That's where I... Hey, McGillicuddy! Three words! Your mom is so fat, it's probably a serious health risk for her. She might want to visit a physician about that. That really hurt my feelings. The mass! Good riddance, Freakwood. <laughs> I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. You'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicutty's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Again. So I see. What can I get you? I need my mask repaired. Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon happy. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. Shove off, Scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom of the ocean. No, 
Oh, that'd be great. I need to pick up a few things for dinner. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. You! You! Shouldn't you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slip past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike! I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find the blasted thing. I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Long walk along the beach? Fine. Just stay where I can see you and don't even think of digging out here. That treasure is ours. Ours. Of course. I'd never stand in the way of a pirate and his treasure. Go away, hook boy. We don't have time for you. Oh, come on. I thought we were friends. Especially after all the help I gave you guys earlier. So, can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's here. It's just, well, we reburied it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. Sounds like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What do you think I am, some kind of backhoe? Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? That makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I... you... Gah! There ain't nothing here! <laughs> Try the tree again? Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Maybe you left that coconut as a marker. Oh yeah, smart. We used a rolling, floating treasure marker. It's brilliant. Take the cook, he said. It'll be good for him, he said. Uh, technically, that's true. McGillicutty would have killed me if you hadn't got me off the ship. So you put the coconut where we buried the treasure? At one point I did. It uh, might have rolled. Fine, we will dig under the coconut. Must have rolled. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. Tim Boyne? What'd you do that for? You're messing up our home! Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Straight on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you! Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes! That's where I sleep in? No, oh, Captain! Why do you keep bummering me? My assessment of your cannon operating skills, not to mention your personal appearance, odor, and intelligence, is that you are unmistakably inferior in each of those criteria. That really hurt my feelings! <laughs> you know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again, I really don't, but I feel it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. I'll get the map. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Drinkwood.
me again. So I see. Well, what can I get you? I'm going to need another mask replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah? I'll go check it out. Hey, you were right. Never used a rubber tree for a mask before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Set sail, Mr. Winslow. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fish. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, ugly. Arr. Feeling funny, punk? Well, are ya? Are ya? Gah! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. No! My ship! Damn you, Sweetwood! Uh, it's me, Garbor Sweetwood. I need fire. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader! Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> The map, sir. The what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Set the sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Skybrush Threepwood, on behalf of the Mer people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized pyrite parrot of Petaluma. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Freeport. Mighty pirate. pirate, I know. Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. <laughs> and, and your gold! Give us all your gold! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. You wouldn't happen to know what the secret of Monkey Island is, would you? I know what the secret of Donkey Island is, if that helps. Ooh, no! Can I have a cookie? You cannot. Oh, I'm sorry. May I have a cookie? You may not. A cookie? No. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a sponge of brandy to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of... <laughs> oh, Excuse me. 
I have the artifacts. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ah, ah, ah. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. Well, that's that. Now come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. I just need to check up on LeChuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think LeChuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. to have you back, Captain. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. No, I'm avoiding that place. Let's head back to Flotsam Island. I'll get as close as I can, but with the winds blowing out now, we won't be able to reach land. Sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Well, there goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, shoot. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I gotta wait to go home and snuggle with you. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us Bonnie Grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on the Chuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear. And don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, uh, the map? Again with the map? I like the map. Forget about the map, just go! I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad, just go! All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande! there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. 
out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. Uh, Captain, uh, something's happening to the sea creatures. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me, looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Thank you.